Hi guys, another day in Cebu, and today we are going to Mahal. So right now we're currently at the Airbnb in Cebu, and I'm trying to find like the host people to print out their tickets to get on the boat, and no one is here. Not someone, but he does know English, so I had to use Google Translate, and I don't think he can do printing tickets, but he said to ask somebody I think who is the manager of the place. I don't know. We'll see. I found someone to print our stuff, but we're kind of in a rush now to get to the boat. Got the tickets printed and we made it to the pier. Uh, not early, but on time. I advise you to buy tickets online ahead of time so you can not be in this line in the heat and even after you buy your tickets online you still have to get your seat got some water and a little tube of peanuts We made our way to Bahal, which is an island about three-ish hours away from Cebu. Now we're going to find a little bike taxi thing. A Sika, which is one of these things. Now we made our way to the hotel, which we chose like the day of. When I say chosen, I mean we didn't book it in advance, so you can choose to find a hotel the same day or, of course, in advance. So, this is our little hotel, it's called Alo Bamboo House for. 1k pesos. Currently on our way to the beach to find food because well we didn't eat food all day we just had those little peanuts. So never mind on the food because we need to get to our little tour thing for the chocolate chip. Okay, not really sure what this is, but I'm pretty sure it's vegetarian cheesecake and maybe this doesn't look too promising, but let's see. Chips. Chips are always good. I'm not gonna lie. Do you like a little chippy situation? There's so many choices. Here I got a little bow because there's like a bunch of little bows, but there was no vegetarian option, so I just went with a bunch of snacks. All right, now time to find these bike people, right, to take us to the hill. I know it's sprinkling. It's still really hot, but it's sprinkling. At the Tarshir Sanctuary, they are what the smallest primate, primate, and they are here in the Philippines. Never gonna stand a chance, heartbreak like a sad romance. Said that you never come back again. Been three days, now you're back again. But I'm not your man, no, I'm not your man. I can blow your mind like woe. Why be faithful when you got hopes? So, the thing with Tarshir monkeys is that they're extremely small. When I mean small, they are the size of your fist. Like that's baby size. So you could only imagine how small the babies are in compared to like the adult size. Drop top and off we go. We don't pop off that's how we roll. Your perfect face, not to mention your perfect body and leggings. The way you move on your Now we made our way to the chocolate hills. Oh my goodness. That ride was forever it seems like and 
because it's like in a little three-wheeler situation I tried to fix my hair as much as I can but it turned out really crazy but the view I mean we haven't gone up to the top top yet the view so far has been utterly beautiful so obviously you have to climb up these steps I'm I'm moving along but we're kind of halfway there I'm already out of breath We're getting this snack yeah, on the yeah. road. We stopped by an ATV place and we're going to ride. Oh, I'm, oh wait. <laughs> Perfect. Took a little break to go up to, to one of the mountains. I'm happy breathing because <laughs> so many steps. That was so fun, but now it is night time. And my legs are eaten and I'm pretty sure I ended a few of the toad's lives because there were so many in the pathway. <laughs> Shopping for some water and some snackies because this little ride back to the hotel beach area is going to be a very long one. We did the ATV ride. It was so much fun oh my goodness we like rode through the landscape and then our tour guide took us up to one of the chocolate hills and oh my goodness those steps were intense and then <laughs> by the way we're walking in a dark alley <laughs> My goodness wow okay so yeah we're now on our way to find food but definitely advised to do the ATV thing So we changed tables because I don't know if you can see because it's a bit dark but behind us right here the guys with like the fire spinners they're about to set up and we're eating dinner Today has been a super long day, but now we're back in the hotel and tomorrow is going to be another long day of adventures, so I'll see you guys tomorrow! Hi guys, another day and we are going island hopping! Just saw some dolphins and now we made it to the first island. 
We're going to a, a restaurant for Brucky and a coffee. <laughs> So I kind of didn't mention how we got to here. So we went to Penglao Beach, which was like the boating dock. You can also rent with other people or you can rent your own boat. Also on another note, because it is catered to tourists, the food prices here are a little bit more expensive. Now time for snorkeling, which is on this island. Goodness. So we're still on the boat, obviously, but now we're at a sandbar. Oh my goodness. Also, the boat's motor is so loud. I'm like, oh, can I hear myself? So the sandbar is actually the Virgin Island. That was extremely fun. So if you are in Cebu, Philippines, make your way to make a day trip to Bohol because that whole like island hopping within the island already was super fun. But we're back at the hotel and change. Even though this is actually a bathing suit top, but I'm wearing it as a regular top because it's still pretty hot. But we were going to go to the beach to get ice cream, but it is pouring. This rain is definitely just a sun shower because I'm staring at a blue sky while it's a little rainy. So very soon the rain stops literally after I finish that clip. But now we are on our way to the beach to find Hello Hello, if not find some sort of ice cream because I'm ice cream deprived right now. a mix of stuff and in this particular thing I have banana, some mango, ube ice cream, cereal bits, I think watermelon, coconut and then at the bottom it's like shaved ice and it's just condensed milk and condensed milk oh and some beans it's like kind of random stuff but it it works wow that hello hello was so good i ate all of it in like two seconds and that's only the watermelon so yummy we moved on to dessert number two just getting an ice cream because your girl has been in the philippines for like four days now and this is our first dessert in four days. Oh. So good. So good. Okay, it's melting. But update, I just been to the cone. Oh my goodness, it's not a regular cone, guys. Oh, I don't know what kind it is, but it's so, it so tasty. Now we are on our way back to Cebu because we're now at the boating dock. But I'm going to end this vlog here. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!